Oh, like the city in Alaska. Today we're talking about 2007's Juno. Juno is all about a young girl, Juno McGuff, who gets pregnant. She's a planet. What's really great about Juno is that there's never been a movie about teen pregnancy like this before. There have been movies about teen pregnancy and there will continue to be movies about teen pregnancy until the end of time, but this movie really just was an extreme, um, like, quirky version of teen pregnancy, but because of that, it really didn't, like, glaze over all of the issues that a young girl would have being a pregnant teen, especially if you're a young girl who isn't really, like, popular, because Juno doesn't really have a lot of friends, and so she doesn't have a really great support system, except her dad and her stepmom and bleaker, ultimately she just doesn't have a lot of people the same way, like, say, a more popular girl would have, um, supporting her and helping her through this whole teen pregnancy thing and whatever. So she's very self-reliant, and she just makes these decisions on her own, and it's really just almost inspiring. It's such a deep film, like, beyond all the excessively quirky language they use in Juno, there is a very deep, emotional, real storyline that you follow with this girl. Visually, it's amazing. The scene where she goes to the abortion clinic um, and they just emphasize the fingernails is really amazing. I can't really say what I'm trying to say properly. I'm, I'm losing my mind right now. Uh, it's such a touching, genuine movie. And then past the just fantastic storyline and all of the seriously damaged characters, they're all people who just can't break out of the cycle that they've put themselves in. The cast is incredible, obviously. Finally, I don't have my soundtrack with me right now, but in the sleeve of the soundtrack, they talk about how immediately the, when Jason Reitman and Ellen Page met, Ellen Page said that she had to listen to the Moldy Peaches because it's just the kind of band that Juno would like. The musicality of this movie, more than any of Jason Reitman's other movies, is just so heavy and important and moving. Like, the soundtrack is half of what I love about this movie. It's just so, so good. And it's so fitting. And just, they put so much thought and effort into every song they chose and just connecting it to the film and to you as a viewer as you watch the film and I know personally the combination of the scene and the song Sea of Love makes me cry so hard when I watch this movie like it's disgusting just every element of the film is really fantastic and it really just comes together to make this almost obnoxious teenager but all teenagers are obnoxious so it works. Um, and her trials and tribulations as a pregnant one. And it's great. And I love it. It's just so, so good. They had put a fart machine into my sleeping bag.